Hi, welcome. This is the Getting Started video for BUS 330, Principles of Finance. I am your instructor, Professor Nugent, and today we're going to go over how this class is going to work. Okay, so the first thing you should do is read over announcements. So the in the first announcement, it's called the Getting Started with BUS 330. There are five things that I have outlined. And the first thing you should do is read, uh, review Blackboard and read over all the announcements. So I'm going to be going over the announcements here. So let's start with that first. So if you look through the announcements, it tells about the homework manager, how to sign up for the homework manager, how to complete the homeworks, the Zoom simulation project, late assignments, and a course schedule. Okay. Uh, second, register for the homework manager. And the homework manager includes an e-textbook. Register for the Zoom financial simulation, read the syllabus, and subscribe to the playlist. It says click green menu button, class video lectures, which is right here. Okay, so let's just start with uh, some of this information on the announcements. So the first announcement is the My Finance Lab Homework Manager and eBook. So these are the instructions on how to sign up for the My Finance Lab. And this is the ID. This is the ID you would use as sort of the course ID. So now, this is important because this homework manager will house all the homework for the course plus the exams. So if you click on this button here, My Finance Lab and eTextbook, it's going to bring you to the login page. So here you need to register as a student. Now you need your email address and the course code, which we already have outlined uh, here in the homework manager. This is the course code. And a uh, credit card is the way to pay for this. So then you're ready to register. So then when you register, you put in the, the course code that we got from Blackboard. Continue. And then you'll see here, here is the bus 330.90 finance Nugent. So you know you're in the right course and you need to create a Pearson account. So when you create the Pearson account, make sure that your first and last name are the same first and last name that appear in Blackboard, so that way I'm able to easily link up who you are and assign the grade to you later at the end of the course. Okay, so you complete the registration, and then you will be in the Homework Manager as we see here. So you see it's BUS 330.90, Finance Nugent, and this is the instructional tab. So more on that in a minute. So this would so this is the basic instructions of how to sign up for the homework manager, which comes with an e-textbook. Now, how to complete the assignments. So if we go back here, you'll see that there's a link called assignments. There's also a link for the Pearson e-text. This is where you have the, the e-textbook, and this is where you have the assignments. Generally, the, the most confusion comes with pop-ups. You should Make sure that your browser allows for pop-up windows. Because that could block when you click on assignments. It usually uses a pop-up window. Now, so here we have do homework, take a test or a quiz. Now, the test and quiz will, will only appear on the due date of the exam. So I'll go over that when the due dates are uh, later. But if we go to assignments, here are the homework assignments and the due dates. So the due dates are on the left-hand column, and the actual homework assignments are here. So when you go to complete a homework assignment, you click on the link, and then you click on the question. A pop-up box will open up, which will give you the question, and you need to input the answer using these rounding directions. So here, round to the nearest dollar. All right. So what's nice about it, if you put in an answer you can check your answer and oh I got it wrong so it says here bid slash ask ask price minus bid price so it gives you kind of a hint so if I look up here bid price and ask price so the difference here is so then if I take the 263.790 minus the 262.800 two that should be 990 and check answer. You see that I get it correct and I can move on to the next answer. Now you have um, at least two attempts 
per section of this question to check your answer. And then if you do get it wrong, for example, so it looks like here I get three attempts. Oh, I got that right. So let me try a second example here. Two attempts. Final check. So when you get to your final check, <clears throat> you'll you'll see what the correct answer is and your answer. Uh, and then you get that wrong. You don't get a chance to do it again, and you move to the next problem. So if you do have a problem with understanding how to calculate these, so you get a problem wrong, you tried it a few times, you're just not sure, you should go to question. So when you go to the question help, it's going to, you can click on help me solve, view an example, or see where the e pages are, which is, takes you to the textbook where the problem originates from. But I would suggest first starting with view an example. So when you view an example, um, it will give you the problem again, and then it will give you, as you press, as you press continue, it'll keep adding to the examples, showing you for each problem what you should have done and the calculation you need to make the formula to get the correct answer. So it gives you the, for each step of the way, it will give you step-by-step um, -step instructions of how to correctly answer each of the problems. So then when you're done with the problem, you can click, um, let's see, this up. Sorry, I'm having a si resizing problem here. Okay, so you keep, I just want to show you what it is when you finish this assignment. Okay, next question. So when you finish, you'll move to the next question. So this is now question two. So if you look, I'm going to leave, I look in the problem, it'll show me that question one, I got part of it wrong. So you can you always go back in uh, and see what you got wrong for question one and then move into question two. And then you complete the process question two, you can switch to question three, question four, you can switch back. And for every question, they have this question help. They'll help you to answer the question if you're not sure. So for each, each question, you get uh, multiple attempts to get it right. And then when you're done with the homework, you hit OK. And that would be homework two. And you can always see your score. Now, there are special, um, these are just the normal home, chapter homeworks where if you go into chapter four, multiple questions are listed. You open up each problem box, and then these are all based on material you've done from the chapter. And each will have its own question help. Now, there is a special set of problems called Excel homework. So you have Excel homework one, Excel homework two, and Excel homework three. These require additional, additional video. They're a little bit more complex to solve. So if you go to the announcements there will be announcements how to complete the excel based assignments on my finance lab and there'll be a separate video that will walk you through that will walk you through how to complete these excel assignments so basically they they're similar but it opens up a, a different dialog box with a set of four instructions to download upload and submit the project for grading so the video is important because i go over how to review uh, what you got wrong, how to correct it, and resubmit it. So I allow unlimited attempts on the Excel homework so you can work till perfection. Okay, so that's how the homework would work for each of the chapter homeworks. Now, when you take a test or a quiz, and I'll show you what that's like, the test will appear in the, the assignment manager under quizzes exams on the only on the day of the exam. And now the days of the exam will be listed on Blackboard. I will put them under announcements. Now, when you call up the exam, you're going to see it will be test one. It will have a time limit. And when you're done taking the test, you click on submit test. So in the meantime, the test will be, this is 24 questions. It'll be similar to the homework where it will give you a question. And then you'll, you'll have to input in the responses based on the information in the question. Now, you don't get multiple attempts on the, on the exam. You get one attempt per question on the exam. And after you complete your 
um, question, you hit submit. There'll be a button for submit question, and it'll move you to the next question. So it works very similar to the homework. The, the exams will be just calculation-based and multiple choice. Uh, there will be no Excel portion of the, the test. So it's very easy. It works very similar to the homework. And then when you've finished answering all the questions, you commit, you click submit exam or submit test, and then your test will be submitted. And again, the test will be submitted under take a quiz test on the day that the exam is available. Okay. So that's the basics of the homework manager. So you read over these instructions, you create your account for the homework manager, you um, can start the homework right away, watch this separate video to understand how to complete the Excel-based homeworks on My Finance Lab. They're a little bit more complex, and I made a whole separate video to help you understand how to complete these. Okay, so let's now move into the Zoom simulation project. So with this project, it's going to be 20 points of your grade, so 20% of your grade. And the first thing you should do is watch this uh, registering and getting started video with the simulation. Next, you are going to complete six rounds of the practice. So round one through six of the practice game, you're going to complete. And that's going to be worth five points. You have to have a cumulative score over 1,500 points. Again, watch the getting started video to better understand how to play and do the inputs and how the simulation works. All six rounds of practice will be due by September 29th. Then you move into the team competition. So the team competition is a separate competition that I have a separate video here of how to join a team. And that's what you watch to learn how to join, create your own team in the join, a uh, create team button. Now, the teams can be a minimum of one member, so you could just work as a team of one by yourself. If you know other students who are currently taking the class, you can have teams up to five students if you choose to organize and want to work together with other students in the class. But, but there is no mechanism for me to assign you to teams, so you will have to uh, seek out your own team members if you want them for the course. Now, after you watch how to join a team video, this is going to instruct you on in how to create and join your own team. You're going to have to complete six rounds of the team competition. So the team competition will have six rounds, uh, including answering the reflective observation questions for each round, which is embedded in the simulation. And you, what you're trying to do is the to earn the final 15 points of these 20 points is you want to have a cumulative score over 2,400 points for all six rounds. So by the end of the six team competition round, you want to have added up all of your round points to get a cumulative of 2,400 points. Uh, if you get less than 2,400 points, then your score goes down. Now here, are the, each round will be due by 11.30 p.m. That's uh, Eastern Standard Time. And the rounds will be due by October 1st, 8th, 15th, 22nd, 29th, and the 5th. So these are the due dates of the rounds. Keep in mind the time difference between where you are and Eastern Standard Time of New York, which is 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you would go to zoomsim.net to register, and the course code would be FINK30. Okay, again, if you watch these videos, it will show you how to register, set up, and run the first round of the simulation and how to join teams later on. Okay. Uh, important to note that no late assignments will be accepted for this course, so keep a, uh, remember all the assignment due times are in Eastern Standard Time, New York. So um, that's different than the time in Korea. So just keep that in mind when you're submitting your assignments. Now, the course schedule, I have outlined the course schedule for each week. The chapters we'll be working on and what we're going to be reviewing each week, including the exams. Okay, so that finishes up announcements. Uh, so two register for the homework manager. We've, we went over that. Three register for the Zoom simulation, uh, and four read the syllabus, and five subscribe to the YouTube playlist. So let me go over these elements. So here you'll notice there's a green menu. This is where announcements. We're currently on announcements. Um, for the class lectures, you click on class video lectures, and this will pop up a playlist of all the lectures for the course that, that you're going to be 
working in. So they, they're in order, so it's best to subscribe, so that way you have all the lectures for the course, and you also will get notified if any new lectures are created. Okay, this is the button for the My Finance Lab and e-textbook that we reviewed before, where you click on that button, and it will pop up the um, a homework manager where you can register and sign in after you're registered. So we've covered that before. Um, the PowerPoints, this is where the PowerPoints for the course are listed. So you click in here and these are all the PowerPoints the lectures are based on. Uh, the Zoom simulation, you click on that. It'll pop you over to the website, the Zoom simulation, and this is where you're going to click register and you're going to click student. And then you're going to register uh, as a student. Click you're not a robot. Register, then it'll instruct you on how to pay for the simulation. Okay. All right, so let's, let's finally review the syllabus for the course. So if you click on the syllabus button, you see that this is uh, 330 Finance. It's 100% online. It's, um, there's no live element or no classroom element. So it's 100% online, online. And here's my email address if you need to contact me with any questions. So it's asynchronous. So I'll provide videos, documents, lectures, tests, assignments, and simulations, and you work on it at whatever time of day is best for you. So I suggest you read over the syllabus in its entirety because it's going to instruct you on how the class is going to operate. Um, we'll talk about the class description, the overview, the course requirements. We already, we already reviewed how to get the homework manager and e-textbook and the simulation. It goes over the learning goals and outcomes of the class, the assessments of the learning goals, the course requirements, which is expecting you to do the reading and the homework of the class and uh, be knowledgeable of you know current financial topics. The grading, 20% of the grade or 20 points is the simulation. 80 points are going to be from the textbook. Um, problems and questions from Excel, including the Excel um, homework, as well as regular traditional problems. So it works out to be 50 points for chapter homeworks and 30 points for the Excel projects problems. Uh, 50 points for test one, 50 points for test two, and that's how we get to a total of 200 points. And if you divide the points by two, you can see how they, or if you look at your uh, weighted average percentage on the My Finance Lab, you'll be able to convert your percentage to a grade. Here's our course schedule for the, the next 15 weeks, where we have the uh, midterm and final. Uh, and I'll put an announcement on Blackboard on the actual dates of the midterm and final exam, and just followed up by your academic integrity and academic and dishonesty policies. Okay, so that is the syllabus uh, in its entirety, so I suggest you read over that. and. Once you finish this video in its entirety, you'll be ready to start the course and start reading the textbook, watching the video lectures, and also completing the homeworks, starting the simulation. I'll send out uh, reminders every so often of uh, what you should be doing in the course. Uh, every couple of weeks, I'll send a reminder of your, your weekly responsibilities to help you and uh, guide you through the completion of this course. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. And please contact me by email if you have any other questions or need any other help with completing this course. Thank you for your time, and I hope you do well.